All righty. Well, morning, everybody, and well, uh, time for the weekly, weekly uh, gems of war reset. So, uh, and I guess there's a brand spanking new kingdom that came out. I'm gonna check that one out, and then um, I'll probably do uh, probably do my weekly PVP run. So, and then um, I am for. Okay, let me. Uh, I gotta. Yeah, I gotta kill this window real quick. Um, I'll go ahead and kill that. Just doing a little bit of spring cleaning here. Doing a little bit of spring cleaning here at the moment. So let's get rid of that. Um, but yeah, I am going to try to do a super quick tutorial uh, for those that have never played this game before. But, um, but like usual, I'm going to be having some music running in the background. Um, this time around, it's going to be Zoot Sims, the modern art of jazz, and... And uh, holy hallelujah, unbelievable. I actually found some jazz music that wasn't copyrighted. So, so yeah, just definitely gonna be firing this up. Let me reset it real quick. And whoops, I forgot to sound test it. So, let me check, let me check the volume. A bit on the loud side, so let me turn it down just a smidge. Okay, so um, this this don't matter here. I'm just grabbing my daily, grabbing my, or grabbing my tribute. Um, so. So let's find this off. Uh, let's find this hell crack. I don't know. Problem's there. New banner. Um, I'd like to know what that banner was. But anyway. Um, so let's go ahead and start here. Ooh. We got comic book sand. We got a comic book font here. Ooh, they're going the comic book route. Um, so, let me see what level they are. Okay, level 39. So what I'm going to go ahead and do, um, I'll go ahead and go with this. Okay, so the goal is, as you can see here, this is a match three game. Um, your goal is to defeat the uh, team on the right, your opponent. Um, you do that by, you know, making matches. Um, and then, depending on the color that you match, that amount of mana, that amount of, or that, that appropriately colored mana will be sent over here to one of your guys. It'll, uh, it'll charge up one of his spells, like, like this this match here that it's showing me um okay let me let me go ahead and slow the action down a bit that way so you guys can have an easier time seeing this so so what i just did there i matched four so now this girl here as you can see here in the upper left corner she requires 16 mana in order to, in order to charge up this ability here, and she can do it with either green or purple, with either green or purple. So then I'm gonna plug my controller real quick. Hopefully I don't re-injure my thumb doing this. I doubt it though. But anyway, the, that's the general idea of this game. Um, just, just. Make matches, charge up, you know, charge up their spells and abilities, and once again, the number in the, what you got here in the upper left corner, is the required amount of mana they need to fully charge their ability. So, 
he needs 11 brown mana. And this is basically what you'd call a mana generator here. Explode 23 brown gems. That means all these ge the uh, eight the eight spaces around a gem are all gonna are all gonna blow up. But uh, you only get half mana from it. So and then you're gonna later on you're gonna see destroy mana. That uh, removes the gems from the board, and you'll get full mana for each one. So, like I said. And what he did there, same thing. Explored 11 green gems. So, and now. Oh, and I'm using my controller, by the way. If you look at the left side of the screen, I'm holding down L1. And then, as you can see here, either, like, I'm going to push uh, Y, the triangle button. He's going to explode 23 more. And then, then uh, L1 and square, that's her ability, creates uh, green and brown gems, and deals what's called uh, true damage. Let me uh, explain this real quick. One thing I love about this game, though, you can use both controller and mouse, and I believe keyboard as well. Maybe not keyboard, but you can use both controller and mouse interchangeably. But the way damage works in this game is um, damage is taken from your armor first. When there's no armor, then it gets taken from your life. And then, as is probably obvious, when your life hits zero, you're dead. But true damage, however, completely ignores armor and goes straight to the life. So. Here we go. So I'll do um, uh, I'll do a few of these in slow mo, but uh, at some point I'm gonna have to speed this back up again. Oh, to the name of the king. Whoops. Want to take a look at what I was up against. Okay, so, and one other thing I like about this game is you can retreat from battle, and most of the time, there are no repercussions. Because there was only like a few green gems up there, not enough to really get anything going with. So, so we'll go ahead and re rack it. Uh, looks like enough. Oh, 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 oh. And, um, I forgot, in case I didn't mention earlier, whenever you do, whenever you match four or match five, you get an extra turn. Like what I'm going to do there, I just matched four. So, and as you can see in the upper left, he now has six mana. And before I forget, if you look at the mana surge chances, that's the chance that you, you that's the chance you have of getting double mana of whatever out of whatever matches you got so, and then the bonus mana um, that's how much uh, how much extra mana you get on top of whatever match you got so. and again and with the five matches they don't have to be in a straight line like this here this is a t-shape there's also an L shape, and there's also a plus sign shape, as well as the the long vertical and horizontal lines. I think there's one more shape. I can't remember right now, but I'll go ahead and do that. And then, so, that's some true damage for you. Uh, unfortunately, it wasn't enough to power her back up, so got to blow the board once again. Oh, and um, on the bottom, Dust Storm, it's of various colors at the bottom of the screen. In this case, brown gems fall more than other colors. That's the power of this guy up. Again, he needs 11 of them. And her creates uh, green and blue gems, which powers her up. She also, but she also deals true damage as well. 
So, just just gonna skip it. I mean, if you were um, if you're at a, any, if you're at all any familiar with RPGs, Dungeons and Dragons, um, those kind of games, World of Warcraft, it, this is, they're probably not saying anything that you haven't heard before. Oh look, Bartles. Once again, I'm gonna blow up the greens. And what well, enough to power up the bees, so I'm gonna blow some more gems. There we go. More greens and browns, but I just gave him free matches. And that that ding sound you heard was um was somebody frozen. If you look in the upper right. can't really tell but uh when when a character is frozen that means they're locked from getting extra turns and one frozen is um it pertains to the color that they have not to the character itself so if she's if she's brown and yellow that means brown and yellow is locked out not her per se so she so if uh if she gets like a yellow four match or a yellow five match she won't get an extra turn. Oh, and also I forgot to mention too. Um, whenever you match skulls, you deal damage to the person at the top, in, case, in this case her, equal to your attack power, which is right now 40. So, but again, the, this is standard damage, so it goes to the armor, which I don't care about. The goal is to do the true damage, like what she's about to do. And three matches. Luckily, they're frozen. So, and I got nothing. So let's do this. Okay, so from here on out. I'm going to jack the speed back up to the fastest. So hopefully you guys have seen enough of this quickie dicky tutorial to know, to at least have somewhat of an idea as to how the game works. Wrong one. There we go. So back up to four. And again, I am using a controller. So... I do, I do, however, appreciate the whole new look that this game has now. It looks like a comic strip, but because uh, back in the day, it used to just be you on one or person A on one side, person B on the other, and it's just exchanging dialogue. It was like totally dry and boring. But once again, as much as I appreciate the fact that they're actually going a comic strip route, so it's a whole new look, it's actually a better look, I'm still just going to skip past this. Again, if you um, if you grew up with RPGs at all, uh, this is they're probably not going to be saying anything you haven't heard before. And remember too, I still want to do uh, I still got to do my uh, weekly PvP run too. So can't really stop and smell the roses. And one other thing I really like about this game, I'm, you can, um, I believe they call it buffering your input. Uh, 
I'll show you here in just a second. All right, right now, I'm holding down L1 and X, and it comes up immediately. The very moment it's available, you can um, you can pop the abilities up right at once. You don't have to wait or anything. All right, so I'm gonna go, gonna retreat and regroup and come back again. Get hopefully get some better uh, get a better look. Three matches. That is one. That is one drawback to this build. Whenever you create matches, or whenever you create gems, you um, and if you don't get a four match out of all of that, then you're basically um giving them all to your opponent. You're basically helping your opponent defeat you. And this is going to be very apparent when I do a uh, PVP. You give your opponent a turn, he's going to wipe you out. Probably in one turn. That's how some of them builds are. So. Okay, let's go. Oh. Yeah. Looking for something better. That's a five match. That was an L shape. Three matches. That wasn't. Uh, but let's, if any of my guys get devoured, then it's, it's going to be an automatic restart. And in case you don't, don't know what devour is, uh, one of your guys, you lose one of your guys and all of his armor and health and all that gets added to his own. So, Take a drink of some Arizona green tea. Come on. Literally blew the entire board and didn't get a single four match out of all that. Oh, and when you're seeing uh, gargoyle gems, um, I'll try to explain it, but uh, whenever you blow up or somehow somehow remove. Uh, I think it's a, a good gargoyle gem. One of your random guys gets a random buff. If you destroy or explode um, an evil gargoyle gem, one of your opponents or one of your random a, a random enemy gets a random debuff.
So, I'm guessing uh, Hellcrag is an Earth-based place. A lot of Earthy enemies. And uh, the reason why I'm going straight for some four matches when I see them, if you look at the bottom, every, one, every character in the game has this. They're called traits. If you look at the bottom one here, whenever you match four or more gems, you stun, freeze, burn, and entangle. And that's not a typo. All four of these debuffs get put on a random enemy when you match four or more, so... Yeah. So if I see it, I go for it. Now, when it comes to randomness, uh, this game is very dumb about it. So... Here. Oh, and now you can also do this for uh, enemies too. But, so... If you're, uh, if, if an enemy is immune to stuff, and, uh, an elemental force kicks in, it don't matter. It'll, if, uh, if that particular immune mod, or you, you get the idea. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta move along. a pretty unique game mechanic in here too. Um ability boost. Nope, three matches. Okay, five match right here. L shape one for that instead. Oh shit did I get lucky. Her um her 40% kicked in, 40% chance of getting a getting an extra turn. I don't, I don't see this mechanic a whole lot in other games, like boosted, like boosted by my gold, boosted by some weird thing. Of course, that probably made no sense whatsoever. It made sense in my mind though. Like I said, I'm actually I'm actually buffering these inputs. Continually onslaught. Destroy them all. Got a five match T shape. Again, evil gargoyle gems, whenever you uh, destroy or explode them, um, a random enemy gets a random debuff. Well, got some greens out of it. 
Aha, here we go. Impervious. They're basically immune to everything except curse. Yeah. Now that was a waste. Again, I'm I'm buffering these inputs. I'm, hold, I'm holding down L1 and square or whatever. And then the very moment that ability, or the very moment that it's my turn, you're gonna see that ability pop up on the screen. Again, it's, it's one of the it's one of the reasons. Uh, I should say uh, it's part of my love hate relationship with this game. It's the love part. Because uh, a lot of games, um, especially like fighting games, you couldn't do this. You have to like input the quarter circle forward and then the punch button at just the right time. Like the game won't remember it or anything. You know, like if you know what ability you want to cast next, it's great to just simply hold down the button until your turns available so uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do a reboot on that there's only like four uh four green gems not really enough to get anything going with yeah, that's a little better Okay, I thought that was the end of it. Apparently not, so I'm guessing we're only halfway through it. Bad start. Whoop! Just a purple four match. Can be debuffed. There's one. Okay. Frozen. I need to mention too. Um, if you, 
if you can see the zero over here, meaning they're going to deal zero skull damage, that's because they're entangled. That's one of the effects an elemental force has. So again, that's why oftentimes you'll see me going straight for like the, the fourth and five matches. But you always want it to happen to the guy at the top. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and set this album to loop. And again, for those that don't know, this is uh, Zoot Sims, The Modern Art of Jazz. So. So I'm guessing this is going to be the last battle of Hellcrag. I'm guessing. Reboot. Uh, yeah, I'm going to need more than just that, so... But again, most of the time, uh, restarting a battle, there is basically no harm, no foul. Got lucky. Still fighting. Ah! All right. Herald of Torpor. Destroy a row. Now again, um, whenever you destroy a gem. You remove it off the board, and you get full mana from it. When you explode a gem, it's uh, it's it, you're blowing it up, and you're taking out the uh, eight gems surrounding it. But you're only getting half mana from all that. Forgotten realm. I wonder, if, I wonder if that's a nod to Dungeons and Dragons. So, um... So I'm just gonna do some sort of cleaning up, and yes, it's gonna freeze from time to time. It's only temporary. Oh, well, that'll be a quick and easy one. Match red gems in any battle. Earn souls from any battle. So, hey, got some easy ones that I don't have to skip. And almost done with that. Alright, so. Uh, daily adventure. I don't really need bear. Um, I don't know what this is. Oh, Kingdom Pass. All right, so this one here, I'll go ahead and back burner it for right now. I'll probably I'll work on it later. Uh, but let me... And then one thing with these kingdoms, 
Each one has it. Each kingdom in this game has it. You can, uh, these are just raw battles. You can start from difficulty one. Enemies are level 11. All the way to difficulty 12, where they're all level 150. And yeah, with appropriate rewards as well. So. Then, um, then there's challenges. Um, complete seven bat. Yeah, complete seven battles. Then it starts over with uh, better rewards. Um, and here's, and you want to, and like here it's uh, plus armor. But uh, ideally, you want to at least get every kingdom to level ten. I believe that's the magic number. Um, oh, and um, mastery. That's um. Yeah, I won't be able to see it here, but uh. Hellcrag level ten. And some more of them. My daily rewards. I'll claim these guys. Um. Get out of there. That is one drawback to this game. Um, you'll get bombarded with uh, you'll get bombarded with uh, microtransactions. So, um, okay. For so for power level here, because it's fairly tedious, I'll skip that for later. But um, increasing your power level increases how much gold you get from this particular kingdom. But like I said, this is pretty tedious. Something I'd rather do on my own time and not while making a video. So, let's do some PvP. Now, the way PvP works is uh, you're not you're not directly fighting a, a human player. What you're doing is you're fighting the you're fighting the team he has chosen to defend his kingdom with. So, where is where is my, where is mine? Um. And this is, um, and I'm sorry if this doesn't make any sense at all, but this is, uh, basically a free gold team. What you're, what this one here is, is I'm basically giving you a free win, but in return, you're giving me a little bit of gold in the process. So, and, uh, there is casual. That means there's no ranking. You're not playing for ranking or anything. And then there is rank mode. This is, I believe this is pretty much mandatory for every player. You want to at least get your rank from level 15 to level, or you want to go from tier 15 to tier 1. Now you can go over here and do some, some quote unquote easy battles, or then you have the middle one here, which is kind of in the middle, obviously, or you can go over here and do the tough stuff. This is where I'm usually at. Now, let me do a quickie dicky rundown of my team. Won't be that one. It's gonna be this one. So, same class as before. Elementalist. Um, just like that uh, hammer that I had, that uh, blows up brown gems. This one here blows up uh, four gems for each blue, blue ally, and elemental ally. And uh, when it comes to color, all you have to have. All you have to have is blue anywhere. Anywhere in here. You, so yeah, it, it doesn't have to be all blue. It just, you gotta have blue somewhere in these uh, other colors that you have. So. And then elemental, that's your um, character type, whereas this guy here, he's an elemental. King Dob Truffle, he's also an elemental. And kind of like the, the queen bee that you saw earlier, He's like that too. He creates uh, green and brown gems, but he doesn't deal true damage, so the, am the damage is being taken off the armor first. But, as with all other goblins, whenever you cast an ability, you gain an extra turn. Unless you're frozen. That's another aspect of frozen. If uh, That means this, this uh, mechanic here is locked out. So yeah, this, that is one weakness this team has. And then he creates seven green gems. 
and gain an extra turn. Uh, Mirage Queen, curse. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a drink. I'm gonna, I'm gonna take a drink real quick. But as it shows here on the right, it get, it removes all buffs that an, it removes all buffs that they have, and it resets and. Okay, I gotta. Let me uh, let me see if I can find uh, a debuff anywhere. Okay. Apparently, this guy can cleanse. Okay, here it is. There is a ten cumulative 10% 10 chance to recover each turn. The first turn you get it, it's a 10% chance of uh, cleaning it up, getting cleansed off. Second turn, it's going to be 20%, 30%, etc. Now, with, but with Curse, that percentage is reduced to 5%. And it all, and as, as it says here, it restarts the, um, the recovery chance on all the debuffs that they have. So, like I said, Curse is very valuable, or to me, it's pretty much mandatory in PvP. And on top of that, it also, um, it ignores immunities most of the time. And you might have seen it uh, when I did the story mode run in Permius. That one guy that he's, it said he was immune to all status effects. This is the only debuff that can shut that down. And, um, as far as that goes, in this entire game, there is only two characters that are completely immune to everything. Even curses. So. All right. Oh, and um, and then convert all green gems to doom skulls. Um. There's a certain time that you actually want to cast this ability. You only do it when the combination between skulls and green gems equals at least a poor match. Okay, extra turn. And that guy creates uh, seven gems. Uh, didn't quite get lucky. But luckily girl on the top, she's uh, debuffed with Entangle. That happens. You're going to have situations where you'll literally wipe out the entire board and what comes down is absolutely nothing. So it's one of the deciding factors in why I took such a long hiatus from this game. I got sick and tired of that. So here we go. The combination of greens and skulls results in a four match right here. So now is the time to cast it. Oh, and um, doom skulls work just like regular skulls, but they deal an additional five damage on top of whatever normal skull damage they deal. And they also blow. They also blow up. They uh, explode and hit. Deal. You know they. Their explosion uh, takes off the uh, eight gems around them. So. so it can be a real heavy hitter. Another four match. Legendary. Oh, and also, a big goal with this with this uh, group too. When you use that ability. It becomes an ice storm. Blue gems fall more than other colors, which is pretty important because King Gob uses it and the boat uses it. So, not not enough green gems to really do anything with. So I'll go ahead and just blow the board. Plus, this battle is all but one. So I'll just go ahead and do that. Doodles. And 
Gigano. Oh, and when you see revenge, that means uh, somebody attacked and defeated your defense team. So, if you take these guys on, you'll get uh, extra extra glory. Like, you can see the uh, white wings. That's a type of currency. Big key component of this group, though, is I've got to be able to get off. I got to be able to blow the board ASAP. Luckily, the guy on the guy on the top is completely debuffed. So. Got a five match down here. Match right there. Purple match right there. My shaman uses it. Purple match right there. Whoops. Missed the blue four. So, don't get lucky. No, I didn't. Oh, damn, Reaper. Um, the rival, I think that's where, uh, where we're both attacking and defeating each other. I think that's what it is. But even with that, that means you're going to get uh, extra glory. And this is also going to be one of those... Uh, yeah, he's an elementalist like me. So if one of my guys gets frozen, that could force a quick retreat. Now, retreating in PvP, it does count as a loss. So, Got a... Hi, match. That's an L. L shape. Right off the bat, too. So, took out the top guy. Just like that. So, not enough greens to do anything with. So. Just a little bit. Nope. There we go. Or match right there. Poor match. Again, um, it's very important that my opponent doesn't get a turn, although at this point in the battle, it doesn't matter as much. All right. This is a, this is almost exactly like the same uh, defense team that I have. And uh, I forgot to mention, there's two types of PV. There's two uh, components to PVP: offense and defense. As you're seeing here, what I'm attacking these other groups with is my offensive team. What they're defending themselves with is their defense team. So, whereas my defense team again. I'm basically giving them free wins in exchange for some gold. So, if I so chose, um, I, after this battle, I would also tip them by, uh, you can, uh, here, I'll just show you. Hopefully, I won't skip this. But again... Right off the bat, I'm going after blues and yellows. That's the goal. And we sure to find any uh, four matches or five matches first. Again, I'm gonna I plan on blowing the board. 
Bye. Got a four match. On the bottom. Uh, got another one, but she ain't charged up, so I'll just go ahead and blow up a board. Uh, didn't get Diddly Squad out of that. Looks like it's going to be a long slog. Yeah, no blues or yellows, so... So, yeah. It's going to be a long one. There we go. Keep knocking, boy. See, he's ready to go. He's gonna cast this, and he's gonna give him 20 gold. Like I said, he's giving you a free win in exchange for some money. That's that's my exact uh, team as well. And then um, it'll show you the MVP here, but it's not always correct. Now, one thing you can do after every battle, you can say, that was fun. Um, but uh, again, this I only really do this for those kind of teams, like I, just, like I just fought. Or, what you can actually do, go to the battle log. Um, I defeated this person. And I'll go ahead and... Um, but you don't have to just say that was fun at that other screen. You can go over here and um, I'll go ahead and high five them. Just out of appreciation. Otherwise, back to this. Which also happens from time to time. A random uh a random creature will take the place of uh, one of the original members. And I'm entangled. Which means I deal zero skull damage. So what that means is uh, I can't get too uh, I can't get too hopeful on uh, dealing massive skull damage because again, I'm entangled. It's good for cursing though. This group that I'm fighting here, there's gonna be a chance that one of my guys will get frozen. Well, looks like I got lucky. But unfortunately, I don't see any blue, so I'm gonna have to make do with that. Got lucky. But, excuse me, five match down here, and a four match.
Another one. And another. And I've got a plus sign on the bottom. Blow the board. There we go. Plenty there. Uh, not seeing anything. Oh, and you see in the lower right corner, uh, see the white circle? Probably one of the um, one of the best debuffs you can get. Or one of the best debuffs you can give your opponent, silence. Um, that means they can't cast spells and they don't receive any mana. So we're gonna have to blow it again. Another rinse and repeat. I think I'm going to win this by blowing the board over and over. Kind of looking that way. Oh, there we go. Um, firebomb. This is another quote unquote free win team. Okay, so I don't see anything. Aha, brown. Time to blow it. And that blows. Got a big one. And she can do it again. Maybe. And again. I gotta rearrange my windows. Surge. Oh, damn, what hell of a match. So, nope, what did that though? Yes, uh, oh, 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 oh. She's been shut down. Plus sign at the bottom. Oh, 
two down. And I might have... Yeah. Not enough green gems to do anything with, so I'll just go ahead and uh, reset the board. Whoops. Oh, well. Huh? Got defeated, but that's by design. So, this is going to be the last battle here. Just like last time, I wasn't expecting it to go on this long. And it's going to be a toughie, too, so... Don't be surprised if I bail out early. And... There's... Didn't get my surge, so... Because that would have been a sure loss right there. That I pretty much have the same same situation here. So So basically didn't get my surge either, so match but this ain't looking so good yeah Got super lucky there. Ah, no, shit. And, um, in the upper left corner, you see the web? Um, web is, um... Web sets my magic power to zero. Which, no big deal there, because I don't have anything that's magic dependent. Oh, well, looks like that's it. I have to blow the board, and hopefully I don't blow it. Still nothing. Got something there. Uh, what was that? Oh, yellow to green. Nope, oh, what enough. So, I'm going to go ahead and call it good here. Um, like I said, uh, like last time, I wasn't expecting it to go on this long. Uh, it's been about an hour, so. And there's uh, still some other stuff I got to do yet. So, I need to get all that taken care of as well. So, I'll just go ahead and cut it off here. But, uh, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that. Oh, and um, probably irrelevant, but I totally forgot to mention this before doing PvP. But, um. I also have these three medals. Each one has gives me a 10% chance of removing all debuffs from my group at the end of each turn. So, three 10% chances. So, just 
just to get it out there. So, But anyway, once again, thanks for watching, everybody. I appreciate that, and I'll see you all next time.